In this video, I'm going to give you the reasons why I'm adding HBAR to my tokens to buy list for 2025. First off, fundamentally, you're not going to find a better crypto project than Hedera. They already have several real world services covering a wide range of functional use cases, including things like data integrity and AI, RWA tokenization, and even DeFi and NFTs. And for the main reason I'm adding HBAR to my token to buy list is because it has made higher lows since all the way back in 2020. So as you can see here on the zoomed out chart view and trading view, look at all these clean bounces off of this uptrend that we have here. And we're actually touching it right now, which makes me think that there's a high probability that as long as it holds this line here, that it could have a nice bounce up to six or seven cents in the short term. And then long term, of course, at some point coming back up to its previous all time high here at around 60 cents. For my actual buy zone, we're looking at in between six cents and four cents roughly. As long as HBAR is in that region, I'm going to be doing weekly buys on it. Now the bear case to make me get out of this plan would be, as you would guess, if it breaks below this trend line. So I would say if it gets into the three cents range, then that's when I would reevaluate that short term technical analysis of this chart, but most likely would stop my auto buys at that point. And then the upside, if it did pop up to like eight, nine cents, I still think that would be a good place to add to my position. But of course, ideally, it would be within this range that I have displayed here. So that's why I'm buying HBAR right now. That's my plan. As always, I will continue to update you with my thoughts on HBAR either here on YouTube or on X. So make sure to follow me and enable notifications so that I can alert you to any changes of opinion on HBAR. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.